I wanna share with you the pros and cons of using Canva for your presentations. So there's lots of ways to create a webinar presentation inside of Canva, and you can even go live with your community. I'm gonna show you how to do that and give you the pros and cons of why you might wanna choose this method and what I actually prefer instead. For the best advice and tips on growing your audience with fresh content ideas, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get my latest uploads every week. When you're creating presentations inside of Canva, they make it really easy. You could go to the templates area and just open up a presentation to open a brand new template and under templates you can search for different template types now each template type comes with multiple different designs so you can populate your entire presentation by simply clicking apply to all 16 pages fantastic right makes it really easy to create multiple sheets inside of your presentation within a, a few simple clicks. It They do make it also very nice that you can go to styles and click on your brand palette and colors and just shuffle through different versions of your brand palette. Click apply to all pages and also apply your font to all pages as well. That's also a really nice feature of Canva's presentations. However, they have more. You can download this presentation as a PDF, or when you're ready to present it, you can click on present and choose from different views. I'm gonna choose the standard view to show you how that looks. So it's a full-size presentation, and at the bottom, you can see the different slides, 1 through 16. You can go through the different slides utilizing the arrows. You can even click on Go Live, which allows you to invite your audience to view your presentation and leave comments live while you're presenting. If you choose to use the presenter mode, you're given two screens. This first screen is for your audience. So this would be the screen that your audience is seeing while you're presenting. It's handy if you wanna share this screen on your presentation, but use this screen for you to read. It adds the notes on the side and gives you the ability to see which slides are coming ahead of time. Presenter mode's really nice because I, as I'm presenting, I do like to see what's coming up next and I also like to have access to my notes. Now, if you wanna add notes to your presentation, you can click on notes at the bottom of your screen in Canva and add notes right here to each page. So here I'm on page five. These notes will apply to page five when I'm presenting. Another nice feature is if I don't want to present this live, I can actually present and record this to share later. So if you come over to the three dots, you can click on present and record, and you'll be able to record your voiceover and the presentation so that you can share that recorded presentation with your audience later. Upon hitting record, you're able to choose which camera and which microphone and then hit start recording. It counts down, gives you time to prepare, puts your camera in the lower left-hand corner, allows you to pause and resume. When you're done with the recording, you click done and it will upload your recording to your videos. Once you're done with that recording, you'll be able to copy that link and share it with your audience as well. You can even download it to your computer. 
so that you can save it for later. If you don't want to download it, you can just click save and exit and it will be available to you in your uploads. With all of these features being available to present and create presentations utilizing Canva, it's really hard to find anything that I don't like. However, the one tool that I use instead of Canva is still PowerPoint, and I'm gonna tell you why. PowerPoint is my go-to presentation method because of one simple fact and the thing that I really enjoy about PowerPoint, it's outlines. I'm able to upload an outline for my presentation within just one click. So if I go to slides from outline and upload this outline that I created in Word, which is simply just a Word document, and I hit insert, it's now loaded all of my presentation slides in one click. So you can see this outline really shortens the time frame in the time that it takes me to create presentations. Now these don't look real cute just yet. All I have to do is hit reset and it will reset all of the slides to my brand's fonts. Now, if I want to change the way a slide looks on PowerPoint, I can simply go to layout and change the layout and insert an image. I can also present and share live with an account to PowerPoint and Microsoft. I can go to slideshow and click on present online and I'll be able to present this presentation and this slideshow online as well. So you saw how fast I was able to add all of this content to my presentation with one click. I cannot stress how much time that saves me in creating presentations. And so that's part of the reason why I use PowerPoint. Now, you may have seen me do that and you have lots of questions and so I want to explain. The tool that I used to upload a outline was simply just a Word document. Let me show you how that's created. The first step is to open up a blank Word document. Once you have the Word document open, you type in the content of your presentation so here I've just typed in step one, some bullet points, step two, some bullet points. Then what you do is you format the titles of each slide in heading one and any bullet points or content that you want to show up underneath your headings should be heading two. If you wanted to create further bullet points beneath those bullet points, those would be heading three. So I'll add a second bullet point and I will format that to heading three. Then you can just save this on your computer as a outline, save it somewhere. Then open up your PowerPoint and go to new slide. Scroll down to slides from outline and choose that and then go select the outline that you've just created. And it will upload the content into your slides. Now the downside is PowerPoint templates aren't as pretty as Canva templates, but you can modify the design of a PowerPoint template to look somewhat like Canva to make changes to your template, you just simply go to the View tab, click on Slide Master, and you're able to modify the layouts of your PowerPoint with certain color blocks, your certain photos, logos, or illustrations, and you can use Canva to inspire the design of your master templates, but 
my recommendation is to create a template that you can use consistently in your business over and over again. Prioritize the time-saving elements that PowerPoint provides you and utilize Canva for the good design. Now, if you're still on the fence, I do wanna show you one last trick inside of Canva if you still wanna use Canva for your presentations. Once you've created a design inside of Canva that you really love, if you would like to use and reuse that design but use PowerPoint, you can actually share your Canva design to PowerPoint. You go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner and you go to the share section and share to Microsoft PowerPoint. This will allow you to download this Canva design as a PowerPoint file, which is amazing if you love to use PowerPoint like I do. So here you go. You can see I have uploaded the Canva design into PowerPoint super easily and I'm able to actually change the text. And so if you wanted to save a PowerPoint template but use Canva to design it, you can do that. You can design your presentation in Canva, download it as a PowerPoint and save this as your PowerPoint template. So there you have it. I'm curious to find out, do you prefer Canva presentations or do you like PowerPoint or do you like something else like Keynote? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've ever tried the Canva go live feature or the Canva recording feature. So now that you know more, what about the next step? I've put together hundreds of made for you stock photos and done for you Canva templates with 30 content ideas. So you can get started creating content right away. You can grab it right below this video. It's absolutely free. Also, if you're finding it hard to get new subscribers or connect with your audience, I've got a secret society Facebook group where you can join others and connect with other content creators and you can get a link to that right below this video as well.